Crenshaw by Catherine Applegate, the same author of the one and only Ivan. So let's get started. How do we do all this? I have no idea. But Catherine Applegate did it again. She talks about the Jackson family and about a cat, Crenshaw, who is a cat, like this adorable kitty cat, but is way taller and bigger and is black and has a baseball hat, according to the description. But sure enough, he likes things that his owner likes too. Like purple jelly beans. That guy definitely does not like purple jelly beans. And, um, watching cartoons and stuff. So the Jackson family and his family have fallen on hard times. There's no more money for rent and not much for food either. His parents, his little sister, and their dog may have to live in the minivan again. So Crenshaw is a cat. He's large and he's outspoken and he's imaginary. He has come back into Jackson's life to help him. But is an imaginary friend enough to save his family from losing everything? I mean, sure, he could give you comfort in times, but his imaginary friends are just idle. They are never gone. They'll still be there and just talk and wait for their job to return. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I like coffee anymore. But I'm actually kind of liking it now more. Anyways, more about this guy is that Crenshaw has his own little wish list. I mean, let's say I am um, this tall. Then Crenshaw would be this big. Like, standing up, then I'd be like this tall. Like at his um private part part, just above his hips. And that's about much. This is what he looks like. He can walk there. Unlike cats, he has opposable thumbs, which lets him to play video games. Ah, yeah. yeah, that's pretty much how it works. And then there's a lot of storyline, and they talk about their time in the minivan. And finally, it does tell us a lot about how lives happen for people like Jackson. Jackson and his family has fallen on hard times, but sure enough, there is something else that we can do to show that they can do stuff. And Catherine Applegate does this by showing us there has been some things to do, and Crenshaw might be the thing that could save them. He teaches them stuff, and he also comforts them. Well, that's kind of awesome. And this is a bit like the one and only Ivan book, by the way, because an imaginary animal is this imaginary animal is like Ivan, except instead of trying to break free from the wild, he's trying to help <coughs> and break free from his chains of reality to come into fantasy, which his owner, or I guess just friend, is like he's not real, he's not real, he's not real. This is not an he's just an illusion, as of like fireman in far from home fighting Mysterio. Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. And so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. But what do you think about this book? In my opinion, Crenshaw is a good book to talk about. And yeah, I have a lot of liking for cats. And there has been some things too. And let me let Claude the cat explain. I know he hates making these videos, but I'm pretty sure he has to do it. All right, Claude, take over. So Crenshaw is one of my species. I know, but he's an imaginary friend, so which is the only difference between us? And also eating purple jelly beans and not dying for some reason. Hey, what's that up in the seat? Focus, focus. All right, okay, okay, okay. Anyways, after that, there has been a lot of things to talk about. In my opinion, Crenshaw is a good book to read because it can teach you about how life is like. I mean, I wish I could just walk up and down like how my owner does. Hey, you can't do it right now. I'll, let me let you. I hate this. I, I regret it. But anyways, there is a lot of stuff to talk about, too. So, while I cover my face, I would like to look at the camera and see Crenshaw. Where is he? Okay, you're also scared of boy. So, Crenshaw has some things to talk about. He does... You fur... He does a lot of things that is incredible and would even do things that would save his own family. <sighs> I'm starting to like this more. And yeah, that's pretty much it. 
the only reason why I like the Crenshaw book is because it's a bit like the one and only Ivan, except Ivan is Jackson and Ruby is Crenshaw. Ruby is the is the person, or I guess in this case, imaginary person who is Crenshaw, who helps a person. Ruby helps Ivan, Crenshaw helps, well, Jackson, to get themselves to lift up their feelings and do whatever they need to get into it. I mean, Jackson needs Crenshaw more than ever now, and since he's grew up, he needs a bigger friend. And that is all. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you guys enjoyed this episode, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Shannon out. Peace.